This is too dangerous for all of you. You need to get out of here right now. Hang on, you... Nancy, I mean it this time. Get back to the village, raise the alarms, and get the people onto that ship and off the planet. Its systems were rebooted thanks to us uncovering them. All that's needed is to input the liftoff codes. I've loaded them onto the Sonic here. Now, go. I'm going to take care of everything and put a stop to it. I've never seen you like this. I've got good reason to be. What is that noise? They're coming. Quickly, go! No one is safe. No one in the village? No one on this planet. Nancy, you're the only person I can trust to do this. They all need to leave. To get to safety. Nancy, please do as I say. I trust you. Of course. Will someone please tell me what in Kyber's name is happening? They're here. Who? Do not move or you will be destroyed. Cybermen. Intruders targeted, lead down! Take them! They shall be converted! They're angels! Angels of Kaiba! I'm telling you now, Alexa! They are no angels! Now run! All of you, Nancy, to the village! Halt! Halt! Ah! Let me go! It has her! Lexa! I'm not a Delph! Now just get out of here now! Come on, Delph! We need to go! I will return, Lexa! I promise! Stop the two humans! They must not escape! Secure them for conversion! Eradicate them if necessary! Yes, leader! Piper, have mercy on us. Mercy is not required. You'll soon have no concept of such an emotion. Oh, not if I have anything to say about it. Now let her go! Ah. Ah. Resistance is futile! Oh, change the record! Systems reveal binary vascular system. This data correlates with cyber records. You are the Doctor. We should get to it. it was a pleasure to see you again. I've got you, Lexa. Now come on, head to the lift before it closes. The Doctor. Excellent. Just gotta trick the system. Come on. If the Angel does not follow us, Doctor. Hey. He merely watches. But why would? Okay, now that that wasn't me. Has it helped us? Has Kyber sent his angel to help us? Perhaps we are going to his domain. I wouldn't be so sure. I think it's more likely a case of out of the frying pan into the fire. We're nearly there. Forgive us, Okaiba, for our trespassing. We should never have. Really, not the time, Del. Halt, or you will be destroyed. Surely, Kaiba would not wish such a thing. We are his children, his kin. His... I don't think they much care for scriptures now. Quick, only a few steps to go. No, system's deadlocked. No way of bringing us back up. Then again, though, coming face to face with Metal Mickey again might not be so favourable. Perhaps it's better if we just ride this one out. <sighs> you okay? My arm. The angel had me so tight. Here, come on, let me take a look. That cyber leader had quite the grip. But Nothing broken. Bit of bruising, but otherwise you'll be okay. Doctor. I do not understand what is happening. Why are Kyber's angels so unforgiving? I'm sorry, Lexa. But they aren't your angels. 
they're a force of evil, one that comes to being wherever humanity lays its roots. A travesty of life. The remnants of humanity and the biggest danger I could have possibly dropped you in. I was taught so much about his kindness. Kaiba's generosity, his gentleness. It had my arms so tight, Doctor. Hey, hey, hey. We'll get through this, yeah? If you want to believe in something, then you believe we can do this. I promise you. The chamber is calming. We are slowing down. Like I said, frying pan into the fire, Lexa. Come on. above our heads. There must be hundreds of them. Thousands. Looks like they've been here for millennia. Taking those you deemed close to death and finding their own use for them. To create an army. Oh, this isn't a shrine of Kyberlex. This is a tomb of the Cybermen. We made it. But what now? We are pursued by Kaiba's angels, and will soon be hunted by the village. Well, I know which one I'd prefer. Angry villagers with picture vaults might not be the most agreeable choice, but I'd sooner chat with them than these metal creatures. The doctor gave us a job, Delph. I'm going to see it through. Now are you coming? I will help you, Nancy. For Kaiba. I do this in his name. For his forgiveness. And for Lex's safe return. The Doctor will keep her safe. I know he will. Quick! They're coming! Let's go! Intruders have escaped the confines of the cave. Contacting Cyber Leader. Squadron will await further instructions. Doctor, I don't understand. If... If these are not Kuiper's angels and are some other evil... Lexa, I'm sorry. Then either this is hell, or we have lived a lie for all these years. Is that right, Doctor? Is it? I wish I could tell you you're wrong, Lexa. I wish I could say no. But this has gone on far too long. And I have to stop them. I... I, I don't know what... They're waking up. What? been activated. The Cybermen are awake. Quick, Lexa, run, down here. Do not move. You will remain where you are. You shall be like us. Leader, the two intruders have evaded capture and are retreating to the settlement Alpha 9. Requesting further orders. Their actions will be ineffective. They have little hope of encouraging resistance. Your squadron will return to Central Command and assist with the capture of the Doctor and the remaining human. Four units in the Stasis Chamber have been activated to prevent their escape. The Doctor will be found and in time... destroyed. I don't think they're following. 
We should be safe now. I am not sure. Elder Layla may still not be pleased about your disappearance. Well, we best stick to the shadows for now, haven't we? Indeed. And let us hope Kaiba looks in favor upon us. Should we be seen? Come. You're awfully devoted to this Kaiba, aren't you? Truly. As his prophet, surely you understand that this is what he wishes. Oh, of course. I mean, you might be very tied to it all. Kaiba seems to have had a starring role in every sentence of yours. But I'm glad you have your belief, Delph. It's good to believe in someone. To have faith. Religion's always been a bit of a muddle for me. There was church every Sunday, of course. My mother made sure of that. I always found myself questioning things, though. Little things. Too curious about it all, I suppose. But I found comfort in it, nonetheless. And then after... Well, let's just say something happened which rather made me question if there could be a god at all. I didn't have much to believe in for a good while. Until the Doctor, that is. Out here, as bad as things can sometimes be, I found that there's always something I believe in. That good always prevails. Sorry, look at me, giving you my life story when we've got a job to do. What is the quickest way to the ship? The chapel? I know a route that will get us there fast. But how will we convince everyone to come to us? I can't see us being welcomed with open arms. There must be some sort of communication system on that ship. I mean, I found means to talk to crowds at Glastonbury 6. How different can it be? It's the best chance we've got. Your words are strange, Nancy. But in Kaiba, I trust. And I will do whatever I can. Follow me. This way. We've lost them for now. I'll admit, hiding in the shadows of a row of cyber tombs doesn't totally have me at ease, but still, gives me a chance to think up a plan of what to do next. What do they seek to do to us, Doctor? These... Cybermen? To convert, Lexa. To make people like them. A mindless horde of creatures obedient to the last. I'm questioning, I'm doubting. Well, sounds a bit familiar, I suppose. And it is them who have done this. You believe that Kaiba is no more than a falsity. A, a, a means to make us submit to these... Cybermen. Alexa... Uh, you have taken Kaiba from me, Doctor. My faith in him. I saw it in your eyes earlier, and I shall say it again. You do think yourself to be a god amongst us. And perhaps you are. You tear our beliefs apart and leave us with nothing but monsters and blood. How can I go on knowing that all our lives have been for this? What's that? It came from down there. Half converted. 
Something must have gone wrong midway through the process. You can't have long left. Alexa, I wish there was something else. Enough words, Doctor. They mean nothing to me. I must help my brother. Dear brother, why do you weep? I. I. I knew to us. Soon, Kaido does, does not yet want me. What, what, what did I do wrong, Alexa? You did nothing wrong, Nath. You have served Kaido to the ends of Alphag and beyond. You will soon be at peace. I pray that he will look upon me with kind. Kaiba is a generous god. And, and you are his most precious child. Here. Let me hold you. Pain. This pain. Your suffering is but a final test, brother. The great Kaiba has a new purpose for you, has he not? He will accept you soon. Yes. Yes. I will, will soon be with him. Sleep, Nath. Sleep. I pray to Kaiba for your safe travel. My little wild flower prays Kaiba. choice but to do so, Doctor. You did. <laughs> ah! Ah! I woke up. Do not resist. It's got your arm! I had noticed that, thanks. Remain where you are. You are surrounded. It's alright, Lexa. It's okay. Ah. I find it hard to believe even that, Doctor. Is that a gloat, Slide Leader? Careful, your emotions are showing. Besides, I've heard that one before. You need to think of a new chat up line. Take him. Bring the Time Lord to central control. And what of the human female leader? Shall she be taken for conversion? Don't you dare. No, she may be of use. The Doctor clearly has some affection for this female. If he does not comply, we shall destroy her. Doctor? It might not seem it, Lexa, but right now this is the best thing we can do. We'll learn more at Central Command, and once we know what the Cybermen are up to, I can work out how to stop it. You will not stop us, Doctor. We do not merely occupy this planet. We rule it. Oh, I'm aware of your presence on this planet. Subjugation by Chinese whispers, nudging things in the right direction. Alpha 9 becomes Alphag, and so on. And their god, Kaiba? Well, now I'm doubtful that Kaiba was just a former settler. Because why not get Kaiba from... Cyber! The whole basis for your religion... is them. You understand our means of dominion, but it is of little use. Soon you will realize our ultimate power and succumb to the might of the Cyber race. This is incredible. Getting a taste for it today, aren't you? Right, now let me see. It seems so complex. I'm sure it's nothing I haven't come across before. Right. 
just need to avoid any big red buttons. Ah, there we are. That sounds about right. So we've got this old tub ready for takeoff thanks to whatever the doctor did to his screwdriver. But now it's time to let the people know. Aha! This must be it. Big microphone, green switches, and each with numbers going all the way up to nine. One would logically assume that means we can speak to the villages or ships Alpha 1 to Alpha 9. You're picking things up fast, Nancy Foster. Actually, I think this honour should fall to you, Delph. Me? But why? I am no prophet of Kaiba, no elder of Alphag. What right have I? Nobody knows Kaiba like you, Delph. At least no one I've met. You need to get them on our side. Make them realise that this is the right thing to do. But I don't know what to say. I... Just speak from the heart. For Kaiba. For Kaiba. succumbed. Oh, and he was so devoted. I must not allow Kaiba's will to be disrupted any longer. My people, hear me. You must ignore the false prophet. He acts to trick us, to turn us against Kaiba and his teachings. But we know better. I call all to the chapel. Spread the word, my friends. Kaiba has a new message for all. We must uncover those who champion beliefs against what he teaches. We shall go to his chapel, and we will eradicate all sin from our people in the name of Kaiba. Ooh, quite the operation you've got going on here. Spying on the people above, eh? Very watchdog. Poor big brother. It is like the room above the chapel, Doctor. Are we in another... spaceship? Seems likely. Though this would have to be a very big spaceship they've got here. It must be under the mountain. You lot were never the best pilots, always crashing somewhere or another. Cyber reference so that you are an inadequate pilot of your own vessel, Doctor. Hmm, touche. You're getting very sassy side leader. you better watch that. Leader, scan and send global message to all the humans or set from Alpha 9 ship. I knew I could rely on you, Nancy. Report percentage of the population that have currently responded. 23% leader. Understand, Doctor, that your plans have a minimal effect on the humans. All Cybermen are worshipped as angels. To them, we are salvation. Observe. Accelerate the plan. Awaken the inner cyber units to this sector to guide the humans to us. Mass conversion shall begin immediately. All available units will awaken. Planet-wide conversion shall commence. Bring the humans to us. We'll begin with the nearest settlement. Dispatch squadron to Alpha 9. We'll take them all. They shall be like us.
Kaiba's message was clear. We must outroot the sinners in our community and let him cleanse their souls in death. We must find Lexa and Delph and these two strangers who came to spew their blasphemy and anyone who dares to speak against his word and silence their tongues. Wait! They are above us, my people. The fool Delph revealed as much. Open the door above our heads. Bring the sinners before us. There they are, my people. Take them. The heretics! Now, I know what you're thinking, Layla, but... We did what is right. You must believe us. You're all in terrible danger. We've got to understand. We need to... Silence! Hold them. Bring them to the altar of Kaiba. For they must be silenced once and for all. Oh, Layla, no. Please. Kaiba, save us. You will all remain silent. My people, oh, we are honored indeed. Kaiba's angels have descended to help us in our new task, the angels of Kaiba. By Kaiba's will, they will put the false prophets to death. No, you can't. Silence. Stay back. Get away from him. I know what you are. The prophets of Kaiba have shown me the truth. You are not his angels. Blasphemy will not be tolerated. Let go of him, you're crushing him. Delph! Blasphemy will not be tolerated. Kaiba! Kaiba, please! Sinners will face the wrath of Kaiba. But there is an alternative. The day of reckoning has come. You will become angels of Kaiba. You will ascend and receive salvation. You will be like us. Like you. Is this what you mean by conversion? Like you did to my brother? You will do that to this whole world! Planning to convert millions of people from one ship? That'll take ages. On the contrary, Doctor. Once the conversion of the initial settlement has proved successful, we shall dispatch all units to complete the process. Full conversion will be met in approximately 120 minutes. You can't. This ship doesn't have the capacity. You are incorrect. Don't be stupid. This place doesn't have the, the space for an entire planet's worth of people. You are incorrect. This is not a ship. What? Well, if this isn't a ship, then what's it meant to be? Huh? A an ark? Tell me. Well, come on, tell me. A planet. This planet, the very first mystery about this place. Undetectable, unrecognisable, but still... there. So you converted this lump of rock too? We did not convert this planet, Doctor. We constructed it. Observe. The ground beneath our feet... It opens! More so without the shield tinting it, we'd be blinded if that weren't there. What is it? It's impossible. But it has to be a Dyson sphere. A what? A man made structure built around a star. The inner layer just harvests the star's energy, light, heat, chemical, and it powers anything. I, I, I don't understand. That ball of fire below us. It's one of your stars in the sky, Alexa. Powering everything. 
Which is why I couldn't work out where we were. We went on a natural planet, meaning any scanners in the TARDIS thought we'd landed in space. Oh, I should have realised. And in covering the star, there's probably several inhabited planets that have withered away. Trillions of living things, all gone. A dead star system. They are irrelevant. Irrelevant? Have you no compassion? Compassion is a weakness. Emotion is a weakness. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer to feel weak from emotions than strong from heartlessness. But wait a minute, how did the humans get here? The Dyson Sphere was constructed to improve efficiency in the conversion process of our cyber agents. The human ships appear within range of our scanners. We reset their navigation systems and force their ships to land on the surface. The artificial environment was composed to ensure the humans endured. And the slow harvest began. Harvest? And the religion? Kyber? That's not normally your style. The humans devised this religion themselves. We simply saw it as an opportunity. One which would benefit the cyber race. Faith. Great way to take advantage of people. Even greater than fear. For generations, you have manipulated us. Used us. Our faith. Your emotions. The human condition known as love was of particular use. Your love for your god makes you weak. Your blind obedience to Kaiba was a strategic target to infiltrate your lives. We are now in control of the entire population. Nita, visual scans of surface population available. That is Kyber's chamber. The people of Alphag. They are just walking into their hands. To the Cybermen. Oh, Nancy. You must not delay. Increase speed. You don't have to do this. It's not too late. You're not sending your people to some promised land. You're sending them to their deaths. Enough! I am carrying out the will of Kaiba. No heretic has the right to command me to do otherwise. I shall lead my people to their salvation. His angels command as such, and I will stop at nothing to do so. But you're scared to. I can see it. You don't want to do this, Layla. Because you know something's wrong. I have served Kaiba all my life, child. He is my every waking thought, my guiding light in the dark. Though in my mind I may fear to leave this world, in my heart I know that I would and will do anything for him. And that includes killing an innocent like Delph, does it? Getting your mob of villagers to murder him in cold blood. I never intended such a thing. But you still stood back and watched, didn't you? As they crushed the life out of him in front of you. Silence! I... I am so tired. Kaiba. Oh, Kaiba. Take me to your glory. Praise Kaiba. Advance! their weakness, Doctor. Even now they still believe in their God, and will walk willingly into our grasp. Belief doesn't make people weak. That love and devotion to something, it means they experience the best part of living, despite your influence. You forget such emotions as pain and suffering. Do you believe them to be of value also? You can't have light without the darkness. If the alternative is living as a side man, as an emotionless creature who can't understand the beauty of life, then I'd much rather embrace the best and worst life has to offer. But you don't give people that choice, do you? No, 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 I've seen you march across galaxies, taking so, so many from their families, adding them to your legions, even some of my friends. And I can't allow it. Because I've just seen another innocent lost at your hands. I won't see another. 
Nath will be the last casualty on this planet, mark my words. A baseless threat, Doctor. The Doctor is right. I will not let you take any more of those like my brother. No more of the crippled and dying will receive your conversion. Reaching the end of their lives, hoping for peace, only to fight you. But that wasn't enough, was it, Cyberina? What? Elaborate. Lexa, you remember that thing in the cave? The Cyberman? Yes. I had my suspicions. But it's taken me till now to realise they weren't just useful reconnaissance. They were more than that. Because you got too greedy, didn't you? You needed more humans and the dying just weren't dying quick enough for you. The rats didn't leave the illness in their wake, Lexa. The Cybermen sent in their pets to infect the population, one by one. Your deduction is correct, Doctor. The Cybercrime have concluded that operations must increase speed if our plan was to succeed. The Cybermen humans were fitted with a virus. A disease released into random members of the population to speed their delivery to us. But... but... that means... Oh, hey. Your brother. His sickness. He was taken before his time. Way before. If it weren't for these metal creatures... My brother would still live. I'm... I'm so sorry, Lexa. No. It... It cannot be! You murderers! I won't let my people die at your hands! Remain where you are. Do not attempt to escape. My whole life has been dictated by you. Do not tell me what I should do. Your emotions have little value. They control you, imprison you, but we can free you. The Cybermen do not offer you authority, but freedom. Bit of false advertising there, if you don't mind me saying. Stand away from the controls, Doctor. Word of advice, never let me out of your sight. Especially when you've shown me more buttons to press. Halt! Stop! Next, I cover your eyes! <laughs> What are you doing, Doctor? Taking the tin shield off the view screen, Lexa. Just want to brighten the place up a bit. Ah! It's blinded! Alert! Alert! View screen compromised! Blinded by the light. You know, you lot should really invest in some specs. Like these. And imagine, I said I'd never touch a pair of sonic shades again. Visual sensors overloaded. You shall be destroyed for this, Doctor. Drop! Grab my hand, Lexa, come on. Repair the damage. Adjust sensors immediately and restore vision. The doctor must not escape. Oh, where are we going? I have an idea. If my sense of direction is right, we should be directly under the village right now, which should mean that the mountain isn't far ahead. We've got a few things to pick up on the way. lies the chamber of Kaiba. All my life I have dreamed but never imagined. My people, our time has come. The day of reckoning is here and we shall all be rewarded by his grace. Praise Kaiba! This is the last chance you'll get, Layla. Turn back. The elder human speaks the truth. Salvation will be yours. She shall be the first. Prepare yourself, human. Me? Me? Not first? Surely. I... I must pray. Give my thanks to... Scans them. indicate a heightened state of fear. You need not fear. We shall remove fear. You shall be like us. I am merely overwhelmed, good angel. I am ready. Then prepare. 
Enter the chamber! All humans will prepare. The salvation of Kaiba shall be received by all. This can't be it, surely. Oh, Doctor, where are you? Oh, Kaiba, bless my journey into your heaven, for you are now- Your prayers are unimportant. Stand on the conversion platform. Ah! I cannot move my arm! Good angel, please! Commencing conversion! Kaiba! Oh! Kaiba! Have mercy on my- Poor woman. The next subject will be prepared. You forward. No, no, please. Oh, let go. I won't let you do this. It's inhuman. Humanity is a mere affliction, one that will be removed. Forward. We have a fault in one of the conversion units, Lieutenant. This must be rectified at once. We shall locate the fault this way, Lieutenant. Uh. Nancy! Lexa, quickly! Follow me! They are sure to return. You don't have to tell me twice. I am now. I thought that... Well, I thought it was all over back there. Oh, never, Miss Foster. Doctor! <laughs> More power than a cybergun, Yorgs. It's okay. You're safe now. Her scream. I'll never forget that scream. Come on. Have a sit down. No, no. It's all right. I'll be fine. I've seen worse. Heard worse in the trenches. You never get used to it, but you learn to manage. How are you able to distract them anyway? The doctor's doing. I do not understand how. Threw a bit of a spanner in the works. Or rather, a cyber man. Found the dismantled one that followed us here and reprogrammed it to attack one of the conversion units. I couldn't do any more than that, though. You are safe now, Nancy. Do not fret. I must go back and find Delf too. I, I won't be long. Alexa, wait. Yes? Nancy? Oh no. No. Alexa, I... No. No, not him too. Please. I'm sorry. He was so brave, though. You'd have been so proud. He... I... I didn't even get to tell him. He, he was so good to me. Delph. My Delph. I'll not let his sacrifice be in vain. I promise you. Surely there's something we can do. These things, they've got to be stopped. My people will not resist. The Cybermen have them totally under their control. Even without conversion, yes. I wish I had a plan. That doesn't sound good. They found us. Quickly, up the stairs! Visual circuits repaired, Leader. All systems restored and operating at maximum efficiency. The Doctor and his associates have also been located within Stasis Chamber 5. 
Units are now in pursuit. Excellent. And what is the status of the planetary conversion? Conversion process underway. Leader, numerous settlements are ascending from the planet's surface in their crafts. Two ships have reached the atmospheric shell. Ensure no further settlements escape our grasp, and continue with the planetary conversion. Estimated time for completion? Current calculations stand at 109 minutes. Send all available forces to hunt down the Doctor. He will be eradicated. Come for us. Where can we go? We have little faith. Ah, cyber ships. Perfect. And of course, all these spaceships need to have somewhere to jettison from underground. Somewhere they wouldn't have to put the villagers at risk, which is... Really not the time to be testing me, Doctor. The mountains, Nancy. The mountains. In this case... Oh, where the big blue box happens to be parked. Exactly. We'll take one of these up, land it on the mountainside, and head to the target to carry out the plan. When I think of one. Oh, enough talking. They're nearly upon us! Come on! Oh, someone's got you on fast. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Hold on tight. I do as he says. He's no immediate air hot. Oi! Leader, the Doctor is escaping in Scout Ship 4. Canisters. What does that mean? It means the warranty on this ship's just gone out of the window. But on more pressing matters, it's knackered the guidance systems. It's going to be an even rougher ride than we'd hoped for. Oh, I right know, over my mouth, there goes the fuel tank too. Can we even get out of here without that? Let's hope so. This should last just long enough to get us to the mountainside before it ignites. Ignites? This vessel will explode! I genuinely don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out, aren't you? Here we go. Out into the open, Houston, we have a liftoff. And let's hope we can reach our destination. Leader, fuel cells targeted and impacted. Excellent. The Doctor will not reach his destination. He has failed in his attempts to halt our mission. Return to Cyber Command and continue with the conversion of the remaining fuel. Understood, Peter. <laughs> we made it! You sound as surprised as me. Doctor, come on! Wait behind you! To the TARDIS, now! Down there! Oh, fuck! My village! Everyone has... has gone. They didn't escape. Key! Always right at the bottom of your pockets when you need it. We cannot all fit inside this box. Surely. It's surprisingly spacious. Now, oh, come on, where's that key? Well, at least we're not under any time pressure. Not helping. Yo-yo, <clears throat> Lennon's glasses, membership for the Alpha Centauri Table Tennis Club. That ship's not sounding too good, Doctor. We've got seconds. No. Oh, oh, ah, oh, now there's an idea. Tell us later, get the doors open. Right, yes. Got it. Come on, in. She's gonna blow. Scanners detect Scout Ship 4 has been destroyed, Leader. And with it, the Doctor's hope of saving this planet has been crushed. Our planetary conversion shall be a total success. Estimated 70% of the population will be upgraded, Leader. Our cyber army will spread across the galaxies and convert all to the cause. We will survive. I don't believe it. 
I know. Sorry about the mess. You've got a plan, haven't you? You know how to defeat the Cybermen. I've had a bit of a brainwave, yeah. Because I've been carrying around the best weapon we have in my pocket all along. 1001 supernovas you must see before you die. I see. Just one small question, and bear with me here. How does that help in any way? What? What is this place? It's our spaceship, Lexa. The TARDIS. T-A-R-D-I-S. That's Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Like the Cybermen's ship. Oh, no, 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 no. Far more impressive than that. Basically, imagine a small box, and then you've got- I'd save the explanations for after this plan of yours, Doctor. Spoil sport. First things first. Where are we going? Where the Cybermen won't ever expect. Back underground. What? We just escaped from them, so logically it's the last place they'd think of looking. They won't suspect a thing. But we need to go back. Why exactly? I need to be there for the second part of my plan. Which is? There we are. Close as I could get us. Look, it's simple. Lexa and I learned that the whole planet surrounds a star, sucking all its energy to power everything the Cybermen use. And I happen to know what star that is. Here, flick to the note section in the back of this. So this is what you were scribbling in the cell? I imagine things make more sense now you're not chasing a planet that doesn't exist. What does it matter if you know what star it is? Let's just say I have an advantage in knowing how things will end up in the future for this particular star. A supernova! In millions of years, yes. And the thing about supernovas is, well, they're basically a big explosion. The biggest explosions you can find. Doctor? Doctor, you aren't doing what I think you're doing, are you? Am I? You're not going to blow up a whole planet, are you? Blow up? Listen, we've already established that this isn't a planet. It's a Dyson Sphere. I might as well be destroying a vacuum cleaner. But all the people! The villages! We're three hours in the future, Lexa. I'm sorry, it's the closest I could get in the TARDIS. That Cyberman, the one in charge, he said full conversion would take two hours. I know. But let's be thankful for small mercies. Four ships managed to make it off, heading to Draxus like their ancestors were originally hoping. The rest of them... And now Cybermen. My people. My friends. My family. All gone. Nath, Elder Layla, even Duff. But they're still living beings, aren't they, Doctor? They might be changed, but... In a way, yes. But they don't feel anything. No emotions, no pain. They just march on, stealing more people, removing anything that makes them individuals. Love, happiness, sorrow, all gone. All they are is a shell, a hollow imitation of humanity. Anyway, it's not up to you or me, Nancy. And what's that supposed to mean? There's only one person here who has the right to decide. Only one person who breathed this air and lived on this surface. Only one person with a say in what happens to it. Lexa? Doctor, she's just a child. She's also the only person left on this planet who's not made of metal. It's your choice, Lexa. Your world. You said it yourself. I can't play God. And I won't. Doctor, you can't expect her to do it. Lexa, you don't have to do anything. The Cybermen have taken away everything I've ever loved. And I don't just mean tonight. They've been at the heart of my whole life. Everything I've ever learned, and read, and done. I choose to be free of my shackles and destroy these monsters who think themselves all-powerful. They must realise that in playing God, 
they brought about their downfall. You're right. Trust me, this will save so many other worlds from being destroyed. And I suppose it will at least save countless lives in the future. If there was another way, I swear, I would try it. I know you would. You always do. So, what's the plan? Well, we're going to need to bring this Dyson Sphere millions of years into the future to the moment of the supernova that will take place here. Bit of an ask, I know, but stay with me. We connect the TARDIS to these flight controls and theoretically, it should be able to drag this place with it. Emphasis on the theoretically. Well, you know what they say. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. The conversion of the populace has been a paramount success. Our numbers are in their millions. A fleet of Cybermen at arms and prepared to free this galaxy from their frailty. Intruders detected in flight systems. Leader, scans reveal three humanoids. Investigate at once. Task all the units to convert on the flight systems. All must be converted. Now you go there. Or maybe there. Hmm. It was the yellow one you were after, wasn't it? Hmm? Oh yeah, that's that's the one, I think. You think? I'm busking. Pass it here. <laughs> Anything else I can do to help? The yellow one goes into the red. And that plugs into here. I'll take that as a no then. I find it best to leave him to it when he gets like this. In his own little world. I'll be far more used keeping watch with you. How are you doing? Well, I have lost my home, my family, the man I loved, and nearly my entire world. Everything I thought I knew was a lie. But otherwise, I am fine. Just to still be standing here is an achievement, Lexa. You're so brave. I do not want to be brave, Nancy. I just want what I had before. You'll get through this. I know you can. What about the two of you? Where will you go once all this has been done? Back in your... box? We'll travel. Really? We weren't lying when we said we were travellers from far away. It seemed like such a strange notion before. Your talk of strange lands and distant stars. Perhaps I will have to become used to a few more strange notions if we survive this. Maybe then I will... What? Find something to live for again. That's them. Doctor! The Cybermen are coming! It's terribly unpolite of them to have dropped in uninvited. We'll have to seal the doors. And that will be done using the controls beside it, I take it. Evidently. Well, I think I finally found a use of that yo-yo of yours, Doctor. Oi! Oh, whoa! Shots! Dead centre of the door controls. That should buy us some time, yes? Uh, not a lot, but hopefully I shouldn't need much more anyway. Into the TARDIS, Nancy, and you get ready at the controls. You know the drill? Of course. You can rely on me as always. I know. And Lexa, you can give me a hand here. What must I do, Doctor? Hold that cable in place and pray that this works. The flight systems have been sealed from within, Lieutenant. Probability of repairing the damage to the outer door? Logically, it will take time. Then we must take other measures. Retrieve the cutting equipment. We shall break through and retrieve the humanoids at once. Yes, Lieutenant. Faced with a sea of switches twice in one day. I'll be worthy of working alongside the boffins at Bletchley by tonight. It seems to be ready, Doctor. Or at least nothing's flashing red, which I hope is a good sign. Really? Well, don't sound too surprised. We wouldn't want to give the impression that you're making this up as you go along. Here goes nothing. Keep 
tight hold of that, Lexa. We don't want all that power flowing through you, eh? And, and keep an eye on those readings, Nancy. 20% so far, Doctor. Rising rapidly. This will work, won't it, Doctor? One way or another, I'm sure. Either we'll send this place into the far future or blow it to smithereens. I'd quite like it to be the former for now, wouldn't you? What's that? Cybermen. They're cutting through. 56 and counting, Doctor. The old girl really does love to cut it fine, doesn't she? Report status, Lieutenant. Flight systems to the Empress Breach, leader. We must advance. The flight systems are being overridden. Such tackery can only be the cause of the Doctor. Logically, he must have survived our attempt on his life. The flight systems must be breached. Destroy him at once. The TARDIS can't take much more of this. It has to. But the cables are almost threadbare. What's the reading? Uh, 89%? Nearly there. We've just got to hold our nerve for a few more seconds. Doctor, this cable, it, it's going to... Oh, not on my watch. Come on. Oh, you've done much more than this before, old girl. Don't let me down now. 98. 99. 100, Doctor. Right, watch. Ha <laughs> ha! There she goes! What is happening? This entire planet is travelling through the time vortex, Lexa. I'd hold on to something if I were you. What is the meaning of this? Explain! Unknown leader! All systems are unresponsive! The Doctor! Just about. Which is our cue to exit pursued by a Cyberman. Come on, unplug the cables quick. <laughs> ah, lads, lads, lads. Never saying that again. You're just in time. Sorry to defeat you in the media, but needs must. Stop him. Time for someone to decide your fate. Let's see how you like it. Leader, the doctor is escaping. Each level's rising. Internal readings show that Dyson fear to be expanding. Imminent supernova predicted. The Doctor has caused this. He shall pay for our destruction. Expansion increasing, leader. We must pay the price. The Cybermen will survive. We will survive. Zori Star's final moments remain a mystery through time. A super red giant in the last few thousand years of its lifespan, at the moment it reaches supernova, you will find a mysterious sphere encompasses the star, as if giving its demise some privacy. This shell then cracks under the sheer power of the explosion, thus leaving the remaining orbiting planets unscathed, and so on. I suppose it was meant to be all along then. Everything has its time. Such a waste though. It was worth it, to destroy the Cybermen, to give my people some peace. We're landing. Doctor, where are we? Back in time, on one of the ships that left the planet. How many of my people survived, Doctor? Enough. Enough to start again, somewhere else, somewhere new. And... I think they could do with more people like you, Lexa. Giving them hope through Kyber and also the ability to see beyond him. But it was all false. His teachings, everything we knew, it was all a lie. No, no, Lexa. Don't you see? Kyber and all his teachings were your creation. 
It was just twisted by the Cybermen's influence and manipulated for their own ends. Just because they did that doesn't make your religion any less valid or important. Believe me, Lexa, Kyber and the Cybermen are two very different things. Perhaps. But that's not to say you have to go back, of course. There's also a second option. Which is? You could come with us. If you want. You said yourself you wanted to see more of the world. Well, now there's so much more you could see. Distant planets, the past, the future. It's all waiting. I... I... I don't... Think about it. In the meantime, let's say a quick hello, eh? We obeyed his words without question and did just as he instructed. We will not feel his wrath today. Hello, uh, don't worry, we're completely friendly. He's right, totally friendly. Who, who exactly are you? How did you come to be on this vessel? Kyber's will. This shows that we are his prophets and have come to say, well done. He speaks the truth. See, young one, I told you, Kyber smiles down upon us. Oh yes, he certainly does. Oh yes, he's proper chuffed. Because look at you all. You survive. Ready to live and prosper wherever you find yourselves next. With a bit of helpful nudging, of course. Praise Kyber. Praise Kyber. Praise Kyber. Oh, where are my manners? Uh, this is Lexa. She's been incredibly brave today. Alphag's finest. We are blessed by your presence, child. She's got a choice to make. Not mine, not Kyber's, but hers. Because no one gets to play God over you anymore, Lexa. Your destiny is in your hands. Yes, Doctor. And I know my calling. It is... here. Are you sure? I am certain, Nancy. I have been given a second chance to help my people. I will do all I can to make sure they are safe from now on. Kyber or not, we will use what we know to live good lives. Well, it seems like you lot have been given another great gift. You've got a strong voice in Lexa, believe me. She will be most welcome here, Prophet. Oh, and of course, if Draxus doesn't take your fancy, you'll need a new path to take. Here. On thousands and one supernovas you must see before you die. A book full of all the stars in the universe. I've circled where we are right now, and maybe crossed out the odd spot to avoid, but otherwise, you just pick one. Spent all that time looking up at the stars, Lexa. Well, now is the time to see them. I... I have much to thank you both for. And the same to you. Take care of yourself, Lexa. And you, Nancy. Bless the mortal who dances with gods. You'll be brilliant, Lexa. I know it. Thank you, Doctor. But do take a care. Because the man who thinks himself a god amongst mortals will soon realise his place. What do you mean? He waits at the end of the world, Doctor. His time is the end of time. And his moment, time's undoing. Lexa, what do you- Come, Elder. We have much to learn. And a new home to seek. Quite right. This way. Safe journey, great prophets. Praise Kyber. What was that about? I don't know. But something tells me that it's nothing good. Come on. Time we were off, I think. Doctor, there's something I don't understand. Why not tell them the truth about Kyber? About the Cybermen? Well, because does the truth matter? It's not just the stories that matter in the end. It's what the inspiring people, the acts of good, love, of hope. It's all really... sort of... 
Human? Yeah. Human. Our lasting legacies are our stories. So come on. Let's let this lot tell their own. Oh, hang hey, about. Now what's that? Yeah, yeah, fine. You go on ahead. I just want to check something. Pilot information. A plaque commemorating the original captains of the vessel. Captains Connor Dallas and... <laughs> Kyber Smith. All stories in the end. You have been listening to Doctor Who, Rapture of the Cybermen. The Doctor was played by Miles Taylor, with Izzy Walton as Nancy Foster. Cybermen, Luke Lane. Lexa, Jessica Gittins. Delph, Fraser Kelly. Layla, Emma Choi. Nath, Tyron Cameo. Zandir, Karen Peacock. Jocks, Amirta Aaron. Sound design and editing, Miles Taylor. Cover art, Caroline Tankersley. Writers, Joshua Carpenter and Miles Taylor. Composer, Richard Lloyd. Theme tune, Caroline Tankersley and Simon Bowser. Produced by Miles Taylor for Tailored Vision Productions. Woo!